What is the feeling on the ground? Well, the feeling is very bad, you know. How we give nationality to people which was Tunisian. It's instead, to thank France, what they do, they kill French people. They kill everybody. We are uh, in shock, you know. Uh, our, our country lose 250 person in one, on, one year and a few months. 250 people have been killed by terrorism in France since January uh, last uh, two And it seems we've lost Amir Khabib from Milan. We'll be back with him hopefully later today. I just want to uh, yes. talk about a couple of points here. I think one must ask why France, more than any other European country and uh, out of the uh, Western world, Is France has always been targeted. We've, we've seen that uh, Brussels was a target, but Brussels, uh, one of the re symbolic uh, reasons why uh, Brussels was a target, it was it's the de facto capital of the European Union. But France is involved in many areas in the Middle East and around the Muslim world and Africa. We've seen, we know that France has troops fighting uh, terrorism uh, in Mali. We've seen, we know that France is involved very much in Libya. We know that France is involved in the international coalition in both France. Syria and Iraq and elsewhere in the world. So this makes it a target. And also because of the uh, many uh, of its citizens who uh, traveled to Syria and Iraq and became members of the uh, Islamic State uh, organization. And that makes it much easier uh, of a target uh, than at the other, uh, other countries. Absolutely. Islamic State hold has that, has that, that thought. Uh, kind We're of just advantage. once again mm -hmm. joined from Milan by Mayor Khabib. Mayor, thanks for joining us again. Uh, hopefully, won't be yes, cut off. Hello. I'm asking, what are the different reactions and the feelings by parliamentarians in in Milan? Uh, no, you know, I was yesterday in Milano. I'm in Milano because we have 14 of July, and uh, I will present except Israel, Italy, Greece, and Turkey in the French Parliament. And yesterday in my speech, I tell about uh, terrorism, about that we, uh, till yesterday, have lost 150 persons in one year. Today, unfortunately, we have 230 persons which have been killed. And it's very, the, 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 the feeling is very, very bad all over the world. How? People which are was Tunisian, French give them French nationality. And the thanks to my country, the thanks to France, is to come and to kill French people. For, with this terrific uh, 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 jihadism which kills all, all, all over the world. Unfortunately, all, all leaders are very weak. We have to be very much more stronger. We have to give them a very more stronger reaction. Uh, you know, we cannot continue like that. We cannot continue civilian women, children, 10 children have been given. We cannot continue, you know, I was in vice president, I am vice president of the special commission, which makes uh, check all the events of terror uh, from the last year. We we brought last week conclusion, faulty proposition. Unfortunately, already the government refused to on that. We have to awake. We have to stop the terror, the terrorism. We have to stop the jihadism. The, the terrorism, the jihadism, which kill in, in Paris or in Nice, is the same which kill in Jerusalem or in Tel Aviv, exactly the same. And when the French ministry, foreign ministry, Hérault, former prime minister Jean-Marc Hérault, met three days ago in Lebanon, the representative of Hezbollah with a very big mistake. He gave a prize to terrorists. Hezbollah is like Daesh. It's uh, a terrorist organization. And I say, yesterday, uh, in a meeting with the uh, uh, interior minister Bernard Cazeneuve, that is incredible that the French foreign minister meet with a terrorist organization which is the Hezbollah. It gives it, it gives legitimate legitimation to unfortunately to, to terrorism organization. And from my point of view, the terrorism of Daesh, on Hezbollah, on Hamas, of Boko Haram, of Al Nusra, it's all terrorism. We have to. We have to fight all terrorism all over the world. Mr. Khabib, I'm sure that many fingers will be pointed following 
this uh, attack and especially knowing that in Nice there were many security cameras and the uh, president of the region did ask for uh, uh, an emergency plan. We're now receiving reports that President uh, Hollande and Prime Minister Valls have arrived in Nice. What do you think will be going through their minds today? Unfortunately, not, not many things because if to tomorrow Nice is okay, after tomorrow it will be Marseille, Avignon, Perpignan, Lyon, Bordeaux. And we cannot put billions of pollution. First of all, we have to fight the terror in the source of the terror. Where is the source? It's Syria, it's Iraq, it's Yemen, it's Iran, it's Lebanon. That, uh, the, the, the terrorism is not coming from no, nothing, from nowhere. We know where, from where it's coming. Unfortunately, as I mentioned before, the leaders of our world are very weak. Mr. Obama is very weak. The European leaders are very weak. And all the leaders who they don't take, except maybe Mr. Putin, who is quite strong against terrorism. I'm not a, 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 a fan of Mr. Putin, but he's quite strong against terrorism. But unfortunately, the US, United States especially has been very, very, very weak in the last year. Uh, and today, it's very late. It even felt President Hollande told me that he was agreed to make some strikes in Syria three days, three years ago. Uh, and at the end of the story, Mr. Obama refused. After that, we passed the red line where Assad used chemical weapons. And today, you know, we see the situation. Daesh is very strong. Uh, the Shiite organization is very strong. And unfortunately, the civilian, French civilian, and European civilian and American civilian pay the price. Mr. Khabib, there's a lot of uh, pointing fingers at homegrown terrorism. And of course, there is a problem of radicalization. However, some will point fingers at poor assimilation of these communities that remain poor and alienated. And these sort of attacks only alienate and further the chance that more radicalization will take place on the grounds of France and Europe. Unfortunately, uh, unfortunately, it's, it's, very, it's very complicated. It's not easy to stop in one day. It's, uh, it's, uh, but we are in war. It's like a global war. You know, at the end of the story, the free world beat Hitler and defeat Hitler. And we, we, we are going to defeat terrorism, but we have to take some very strong measures. Uh, as I mentioned you, I was vice president of the commission, special commission in French Parliament uh, on, on the East. We, we make a lot of auditions, 200 hours of auditions of ministers uh, of uh, 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 enseignement, uh, um, I would call this in English, um, uh, uh, modine, um, intelligence, intelligence uh, uh, responsible. We are very weak also in intelligence and so on. So uh, I am very, very worried for the next uh, week, for the next month. At the end of the story, I hope really that uh, uh, our value uh, are going to win, but uh, in which price? Uh, we don't know exactly from today. Today we, we are going to, uh, to, to to close a little bit our border. We have too too open, too open. Everybody come in Europe and go back to Europe very easily. That by by the way, one of the reasons that uh, England uh, uh, we we draw on on both on Brexit, you know. I, I am a very strong European. I think that you, uh, Union Europe is very important, but we have to, 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 to increase our security in the border of, of Europe. Unfortunately, today, you go in, in Turkey, in Greece, and after in Europe, in Italy, and after in France, in Belgium, or in Germany, very easily, with nothing. Uh, and, uh, you know, it's very complicated in a few minutes to, uh, to analyze all the situation. Today, we are... They are very, very sad. We, you know, ten children have been killed, and family has been uh, has been uh, has been dis totally dis dis destroyed. Fifty injured people are in all the hospital. Uh, only one person did that. One person alone, which runs uh, a van and do this uh, terrific story. So, I am uh, for the time being. Uh, we will have time to try to analyze everything and to take more measures. But uh, today, I am sad and all sounds sad and all the war, all the free world is very sad. Thank you, Mayor Khaviv. Uh, of course, um, we do offer our condolences and seems you're calling for a change of strategy.
Mohammed, Owen, uh, brief reactions to everything that uh, Mir Khabib had to say, or some of it, because we don't have much time. Well, to be honest with you, we, as long as we don't know the motives and the identity of the attacker, we can't really go out and claim uh, any new uh, policies. However, yes, there has to be more uh, coordination between France, Europe, the United States, and the rest of the world. This is not a region problem. This is an international problem. These organizations, terrorist organizations, do not choose one country and one people. When they attack, they attack everyone. The driver of this truck did not go out last night and try and uh, trying to separate those who were who are Muslim, Christians, Jews, or any other nationality aside. They went out, he went out, and he tried to kill as much and as many people as possible. They're trying to instill uh, fear in people now in the hope they change the people and these uh, countries later. So this must be an internationally coordinated effort coordinated effort in trying to defeat uh, not one organization, but the ideology that this organization flourish and try to go out and recruit new members to these organizations. Owen? Two points. Number one, we heard from Mayor Habib what we heard from Benjamin Netanyahu this morning, that terrorism needs to be fought everywhere and terrorism equally everywhere. Is terrorism, terrorism, terrorism is terrorism, and this is the Israeli theory of the case, not only Benjamin Netanyahu's, but it's fair to say across the political spectrum in this country. The second point, a very interesting thing we heard from President Hollande and also from Prime Minister Valls, that France needs to live with terrorism, that France will have to do a lot to counter it, whether that means cooperating and coordinating with other countries, whether it means doing uh, taking other steps for the Muslim minority population in France, as we heard from one of our guests. But at the end of the day, this is part of a trend. This is not an inflection point. It may be some kind of tipping point, but this is unfortunately just one in a string of attacks, and there will be more. And what does that mean for French politics, for European politics, and for the politics of the world as a whole? Those are the questions we'll see. Those are many questions that have been being asked for uh, an entire year now with the, the different uh, events unfolding. And of course, we're seeing more world leaders trying to show that they're part of the victim side, not part of uh, uh, the, the extremist side. But jihadism, the, the idea of a Muslim caliphate, how do you erase or minimize that idea? Well, it, again, you have to deal with it internally before you start. You even think about dealing with it internationally or abroad. For the French, uh, for the French government, it has to look inward. It has to look into talking and coordinating with its own citizens who are uh, so what if they are, if their parents are uh, of uh, north african uh, heritage they the are they are yeah the attacks. exactly so mainly it's not from raqqa it's from the own as you as you're exactly saying. exactly and they they must uh, look at the at the at, the, at these uh, sympathizers and the and the tools that the islamic state and other terrorist organization use to recruit these new members this is something that must be dealt with internally and also abroad it can't be one over the other. This is not purely a security issue. There are many falls to this problem than just to fight it militarily or security. And it's not a problem that seems to be going away. So definitely there will uh, need to be a, uh, a solution or a different strategy or a different tactic for that. Uh, we're wrapping up uh, our first hour. I want to thank you both, but do stay with me and uh, we'll be back in just uh, one uh, minute for another hour of ongoing coverage uh, following yesterday's attack in Nice.